What you're doing today is this anti-terrorism month. So we are touting the Army's iWatch program. Have you heard of it? Outside the exchange this week, Kevin Walker, the Fort Meade Garrison anti-terrorism officer, he and emergency services personnel were out promoting anti-terrorism awareness month. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have more with Walker in a moment. Also this week, the Army gets new leadership. There's a town hall coming up and MWR has a big concert lined up. These stories and more, but first, August is anti-terrorism awareness month, the 10th since the Army implemented the iWatch program in August 2010. Anti-Terrorism Awareness Month is meant to raise awareness not only of the threat of terrorism, but also to encourage regular vigilance and to report potential threats. This week we spoke with Garrison Anti-Terrorism Officer Kevin Walker as he and emergency services personnel and public affairs were camped outside the exchange spreading the word. In the anti-terrorism realm, we just want everyone to realize that there's a sensor. Uh, we have the Army Eye Watch program, which is see something, say something. Uh, we have two anti-terrorism officers for the installation. We can't be everywhere at once. Uh, we just ask people to pay attention when they go to work, look around, and if something's not right, something's out of place, feel free to contact somebody. What a lot of people don't know is who to contact. Well, you can contact your unit security manager, or if not, call the military police desk non-emergency number at 301-677-6622. Once again, that phone number was 301-677-6622. In other news, the Army gained new leadership in ceremonies last week at Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall. General James McConville is now the 40th Army Chief of Staff. In his remarks at the change of command, he wanted everyone to remember two things. Winning matters and people are my number one priority. Our Army serves to defend the nation. When we send the United States Army somewhere, we don't go to participate. We don't go to try hard, we go to win. There is no second place or honorable mention in combat. Winning matters. And we win by doing the right things the right way. We win with our people. And that is why people matter. They are the Army's greatest strength and our most important weapon system. Looking ahead, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague invites you to participate in the next Facebook Town Hall. It's coming up August 27th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. With the school year ready to begin, the focus of this Town Hall is on education. Youth and adult school representatives will be on hand to answer questions along with Garrison staff. Although the focus is on education, we'll accept any questions you may have for the command and staff. Stay tuned to Facebook. A week ahead of the event, we'll post an event page where you can start asking your questions in advance. Meanwhile, in a related story, the garrison is highlighting back to school safety with a bike walk to school day on September 3rd, the first day of school. Parents are encouraged to join their kids on their way to school. Walk bike to school is focused on community interaction and increased levels of safety. Law enforcement will be on hand saturating school zones with personnel and vehicles. Service members and parents in partner organizations here on post are invited to participate, but you should check with your chain of command. Meanwhile, participation in the 2019 Community Strengths and Themes Assessment has been extended until the end of August. Your input is needed to identify perceptions of quality of life, health, safety, wellness, and satisfaction on Fort Meade. There are several ways to access the link to the survey. You can find it in the bulletin section on the Fort Meade app. It's also available on the home page of the Fort Meade website and on our Facebook page. Finally this week, MWR and Army Entertainment present Academy of Country Music Award nominees Maddie and Tay in concert. They highlight the Women Rock the Forts tour on Friday, August 30th at 7 o'clock at the McGill Training Center. Tickets are on sale now. Call 301-677-6969. A quick review of what you can expect in just a moment. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week. Army Entertainment presents Women Rock the Forts Tour, starring the award-winning Maddie and Tay. Coming to an Army Fort near you. Country music's red hot phenomenon. It's Maddie and Tay, live. The new music, the hits, Maddie and Tay. In the fort with special guest Ruthie Collins on stage with Natalie Stovall and superstar MC Lakin. You gotta see Women Rock the Forts Tour. Women Rock the Forts, Maddie and Tay, Ruthie Collins with Natalie Stovall and Lakin.